some things in life happen, you know, serendipitously. And so I, I happened to, to come to Georgia Tech because my wife had a job here. And so I, I applied and I came here. When I first arrived, there was no program in ocean science and engineering. But what I realized is that Georgia Tech is very solution driven. And I felt that, you know, given the threats of the ocean and given the culture in academia, that perhaps this was a good place to start this movement towards, let's bring research to solve ocean problems. One of the reasons we started Ocean Visions was to create as fast as possible a community of researchers that were focused on ocean solutions to recognize that these problems are so large that we really have to come together at a more systemic level. And so that was the spirit behind the Ocean Visions, bringing these uh, big institutions in ocean sciences together to really work towards transforming research into solution together. But then there's another catch. This is not just a research problem. We really have to create an ecosystem uh, of ocean solutions that has the researchers, the innovators, the investors, and the stakeholders to sort of really uh, identify what are the best solutions and how to, to solve these problems so that we can actually work and co-design and perhaps deploy these solutions together. The George Aquarium had the vision of you know, supporting and engaging in the early phases when we were conceiving this idea of creating the ocean visions and this ecosystem for solutions. And so they of course have research, but they also have an important component, which is the public outreach. They can reach millions of people. And, and you know, these ocean solutions are not just something that you can conceive in a lab and say, oh, I found the solution, let's apply it. A lot of these things require, you know, if you like, uh, social licensing. You have to have buy-in from the people that this is something that we want to solve. Mm -hmm.